Hey y'all, Alan here from Damn Good Reviews at damngoodreviews.com and today I'm going to be reviewing Photomatix Pro by HDR Soft and uh, if you're into photography or getting into photography and you've seen those very surreal looking photos and want to know how they're done well it's called HDR which stands for High Dynamic Range and what that is, it's a um, a batch of photos all the same scene at different exposures. Now typically if you have a digital SLR camera like a Canon T2i or a Nikon type camera uh, um, what you can do is you can shoot something with it's called automatic exposure bracketing or AEB and what AEB will do is pretty much automatically go um, however you set it uh, up a stop, down a stop, and also shoot another um, a normal photo. But sometimes some of these surreal photos, you also might want to do some more um, more bracketing to get a even more surreal look. So it's going to take a little bit of of work, but that's how you achieve it. Now, if you want um, to do this, you're still going to have to combine those photos. And I've been looking for some software for some time. And uh, Photoshop 5.5 does have an HDR um, photo processor, and I believe it was started in CS3, I think, CS2 or CS3. And it's okay, it has a couple options, nothing over the top, and there are a couple other companies that have HDR software that uh, will work with Photoshop. But this is a standalone program, again by HDR Soft, called Photomatix Pro. There's also an Essentials version which has uh, less options to work with, which is great for beginners and about half the price. And they do offer a Photoshop plugin, but they really recommend using the standalone program, which I like too. So if you look at the interface, it's pretty straightforward, very easy to use, and when you buy this product, you get two years updates, um, at least two years. So that's a great right off the bat. And if you buy the Essentials, program, the basic version, you can always upgrade to the pro version at any time for whatever the difference is in the price. So let me just go ahead and show you real quick. Um, we're going to do a couple photos that I'll show you and there are some other options like uh, we can do the bracketed photos or you can also do tone mapping and tone mapping is typically done when you have only one photo or one scene without multiple exposures. So first, let me just show you the load uh, bracketed photos. Okay, so right now I'm going to go ahead and load the bracketed photos. So you'll see some of the bracketing done here. So uh, let's go ahead, we'll just do this one. I'll make it nice and easy. So I'll select those three images. You see a normal shot, a dark shot, and a brighter shot. So those are the automatic exposure bracketing that I did on the camera. And you have a couple options here for pre-processing. You can align the source images just in case it's off a little bit. Very good feature to have. Remove ghost, reduce noise, reduce chromatic aberrations. So there's a couple of options right up front. Um, typically, I'll just go ahead, click OK. Pretty much analyzes and will align stuff right by itself. So it takes you know it takes a, a minute or two to merge the photos and you can always do more than three if you have more exposures and that could give you a better uh, you know final image so you can see it's it's kind of bright and this is really what it brings up first and uh, you know that's really the different images all put together so overall it's like a perfect perfect exposure but we want to do some other stuff so we'll go to tone mapping and fusion and then you'll see you know the different options so right away we have all of these different presets down here in the pro version we do compressor or fusion default and you'll see how it alters the image or painterly and uh, you get a more looking surreal look enhancer black and white fusion adjusted so a lot of presets down here um, then also we can go over here and you have other options to um, enhance the detail more so once you get going, you can really go into this and really get that perfect looking image. So we have some lighting effects, we can make it look really surreal or a little bit. 
Um, and then, of course, you can adjust things within that with uh, some of the presets, luminosity, detail, contrast. There's also a selection mode. And uh, the selection mode, you can obviously watch the tutorial like it says here. But you can select certain areas. And you can see all the different options we have. Now, one thing I, I really didn't like about this program was that I don't really have enough presets. Some of the other programs that I've used, they have a lot more presets. And one good thing is you can obviously save your own as my presets. And you can also download ones and load them in. But I just think they need uh, definitely more just to make it easy to click and get closer to that final image that you really want. And um, the other thing was I found presets from other people. But I think HDRsoft needs to have some type of user forum where people can upload presets and show their images off. Where they show a couple in their user gallery. But if they have a place where someone can exchange presets or tell you how to do like tutorials or even if HDRsoft had a preset library or uh, video tutorials and a, like a video blog on their site, that would be excellent. But overall for the price of this, if you really want to get into this type of photography, it has a lot, a lot of features and will really get you started in the right direction. And in the pro version you have so many options here. But like I said, without those presets you have to really... Um, work with it a lot to get that final image and final look. But you do have uh, different things like exposure fusion options or tone mapping. So they're different, they work a little bit different of how they actually process the images and um, you can really get these images looking really really interesting, surreal and you have a lot of different um, options here within the windows. And you'll see everything is pretty straightforward and you have some other things in the in the windows here. So if we had to do some other things, this is actually a loop, like a jeweler's loop almost, if we want to see something a little closer. But uh, if you're working with just the one photo, you have things like, you know, just brightness, contrast, and things like that. Here's uh, some of the, the different views, and, and of course you have all your preferences. And very, very straightforward, not like overkill. You don't need a, an advanced degree in HDR photography. And another great thing about this program is they have really good tutorials. So there's a FAQ, a user manual, and the tutorials are good. So I recommend checking out the tutorials first. Download the free um, demo version of it where you can do a lot of things. Get into HDR. It's really cool, something you should really try if you uh, want to get into photography and get that really cool looking uh, final look of your photographs. And um, I highly recommend Photomedix Pro, and this is 4.1, the 32-bit version. You can get a version for Windows, for Mac, um, and will also work with uh, Adobe Lightroom, and I believe also the Mac version of Aperture, so Apple's Aperture. So uh, there's definitely some options on the site. Check out hdrsoft.com and learn a little bit more about Photomatix. Check out their, uh, their image library of other images that have been done. Enjoy it and uh, just have a blast. So Photomatix Pro 4.1 from HDRsoft. You get one damn good review from, here, from us here at damngoodreviews.com. Everyone, have some fun. We'll see you soon and enjoy.